but you can't truly love yourself unconditionally until you know who that person is. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roshni. This video is on six ways to get to know yourself a little bit better. The first thing is to stop feeling so guilty about what you love and hate. So with things like guilty pleasures or shows and music and things like that that we are too embarrassed to tell other people that we enjoy, at least just be honest with yourself. I grew up watching like really dumb reality TV shows, even like Laguna Beach in the Hills way back in the day. Just admitting that I did like watching TV or I liked watching certain types of TV have kind of introduced me to the entire world of entertainment. So whether it's something that you like or hate just feel comfortable admitting that and even if you don't want to tell every single person at least be honest with yourself about it the second tip is to write things down so you don't forget so I'm not super consistent all the time with journaling but I do make sure that I journal every now and then finding ways to express yourself is such a good way to understand who you are and not only are you letting your thoughts just kind of freely onto the page or onto a camera but you are also able to look back on those things. So when I was in college, I actually took a class called Gender Inequality. We had to write an essay about how we have been forced to conform to whatever our gender is. And so I actually wrote this whole essay about how I really wanted to skateboard and how I wanted to, you know, be, I was kind of more of like a tomboy, but I was actually pretty much told that I could only do ballet. There's a lot of times where maybe you've wanted something or something was organic to you, but you felt like you had to shove it away because of what society says or because of what people in your life want for you. And I wanted to share a journaling prompt with you. Write a time where you had to conform to other people's expectations. Not only will that help you understand who you are, but it'll help you understand why you change yourself, if you change yourself, maybe times that you've ignored your own instincts to do what other people have wanted for you and when you do realize what those things are but also give yourself an opportunity to live that out now give yourself that room to explore how you could be different the third thing that you can do is get to understand your habits and the patterns that you have and the things that have kind of remained the same about you throughout your life so again you can journal about things like that or you can just reflect on how you react to things or how certain things that happen may you feel and when you do realize these habits and patterns whether they're positive or negative don't judge yourself and don't shame yourself about them just be proud and be willing to explore that side of you and if it is something that might be a little bit more on the negative side just understand that you are completely able to change whatever you want to change about yourself, but it will only happen if you start to understand those habits and patterns. The fourth way is to spend time alone or travel or just try new things alone. In society these days, everyone's kind of afraid to do things without their phone or without another person there, and people often get really embarrassed to go out and have lunch by yourself or go to a movie by yourself, and there's kind of like a shame and a stigma about that. Just break free of that and feel confident enough to go to your favorite bookstore and then get a cup of coffee afterwards or go to lunch by yourself or just try something new um, even if it's solo traveling if you're up for that do it I traveled alone to um, London a couple of years ago and I absolutely loved it I did meet up with some family when I was there but it really allowed me to get to know me without the pressure of doing what someone else wants to do or without the pressure of compromising so that's a way that you can get to know what you like and what you don't like by yourself the fifth thing is to talk to people who have known you for a long time. So if you have a good relationship with your parents, that's a great place to start. If you have siblings or friends that you've known for a long time, just talk to them. I've been recently been watching the show You, so stick with me. I'm not going crazy here, but in that show, they talk about how everyone has a blind spot, right? And sometimes we can't see what the, what the truth is about other people around us or people that we really love. And sometimes we are in our own blind spot. We can't always get a full picture of who we are. So talking to other people who have known you and using them to kind of help you understand your habits and your character is also a great way to get to know yourself without having to just rely on your own introspection. So you can also start there if you're feeling like you have no idea how to journal or you don't know how you've changed or you just feel completely lost. Talking to other people who know you is a great 
great way to get a better sense of who they think you are and and you can take those things whether again they're positive or negative and decide if there's anything that you want to change or if there's anything that you want to elevate the sixth way to get to know yourself is actually a little bit of an exercise i think i actually heard about this from lavender's channel it is the current me future me exercise this has a connection to the law of attraction and to manifesting usually it's used within like a six month period like who am i now and who do i want to be in six months or maybe a year um, but i challenge you to take this exercise a step further and to actually do it with maybe a 10 year difference or a 20 year difference so what do i want to be how do i see myself how do i see myself expressing myself and where do i see myself who do i see myself surrounding myself with and of course a lot does change in that period of time but it's still important to at least see what your dreams are and what your possibilities could be and allowing yourself to just fully dream on a piece of paper is such a great way to get to know yourself because of what it is that you want and what you value in life and what you value about yourself and experiences that you would cherish or would love to have that's a great way to not only see who you want to be in the future as well and what the possibilities could be for you but to also write down some things about who you are now when i do the current me portion i literally draw exactly what i'm wearing at the time as i draw my hair the way it is it allows you to just see who you are for you and sometimes there are ugly truths that we figure out about ourselves. We all have faults. We've all made mistakes. We've all had things that maybe we regret or we wish that we could do differently, but that's still just a part of learning. If there is something negative or something that you want to change, you won't be able to do that until you're really aware of what it is that you are struggling with or what it is that you feel like you so deeply need. And on that note, you are enough. You have everything that you need within yourself and i know that it's frustrating when people say that sometimes because that doesn't really help you not feel so lost but any need for love or any need for acceptance can still be fulfilled by you even if you have a relationship in your life or a strong relationship is one of your goals for the future you can only love other people as much as you truly love yourself but you can't truly love yourself unconditionally until you know who that person is and until you're willing to see the bad sides or the negative sides of you and when i was able to admit to myself that i you know i didn't feel loved i was able to start working on giving myself that self-love that i needed and i was also able to accept love from other people whether it's family or relationships or friends and accepting that love made me feel like i wasn't so desperate or i wasn't just looking for things in other people and when you give yourself that freedom of providing what you need on your own to a certain extent it gives you freedom to be able to choose who you are and to choose the life that you are looking for because you're not looking for that happiness or that acceptance in other people you're finding it within the core of who you are finding out who you are is just the first step in understanding what it is that you need to work on and what it is that your goals are and what it is that you need to be spending your time and energy on so i hope that these six ways will help Help you understand to know who you are a little bit better and to not shame yourself or judge yourself if you enjoyed it or if you learned anything please let me know in the comments below i love hearing from you guys otherwise if you liked this video make sure that you like and subscribe for more content like this thank you again for watching i love you guys very much happy healing